Mink coat transformation with highlighted chevrons. Before I take this fur apart, I wanted to show you the different uh, patterns on the actual coat. So here is a nice straight length of mink. And then here, it's a chevron. See how pretty that is? So my challenge is going to be how am I going to incorporate those chevrons into the throw? some possible design choices. Let's deconstruct the coat. After the chevrons were cut, they weren't perfect triangles, so I did have to add to the triangles. So when I flip it over, you'll see an empty space, and this is where I'm going to have to piece to make a perfect triangle. When I don't have enough straight pieces, I have to create them. So I take smaller pieces of fur, lay them side by side, so I can get a good idea of what they will look like when I put them together to form a panel. Once the pieces have been sorted, I bring them down to the fur machine and sew them all together. roller and I flatten out the seam. I check to make sure that there are no open spaces in the seam. Brush it out. Make sure all the hairs are out from the seam itself. And there you go. It looks beautiful. Once I've decided how I'm going to lay it out, I flip all the pieces for side down. I then pin the triangular area 
from one corner to the next in a straight line. I then mark the straight line to remove the excess fur. I cut it and then I make registration marks along the edge as you can see here. That's where I'm going to make sure that when I pin it together I'm going to connect it at those registration marks, bring it to the machine and sew it like it appears here. And that's what it looks like when it was completed. The next step is the lining, and once the lining is complete, I would pin it together as it looks here, clip the ends together, sew it all around, and then hand sew the edge closed. And here's the completed throw. Come visit us at DynastQuilts.com.